Hello, Mr. Chu here with a Math Minute with Mr. Chu talking about long division. So make sure if these types of videos help you, like it, subscribe, and share, and push these out to more people. That's what I'd like for you to do. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. When you're talking about long division, I always have students that say, why do I need to long divide? I can just use a calculator. Well, when you get into algebra, that calculator will not find your answer. So let's just explain how that works. So example problem one states that if I take 1,792 and divide it by 96, I can either write it like a fraction like this, or I can write it as a long division problem. Any time that you are long dividing, and I often was told when I was teaching in brick and mortar, and I was teaching eighth grade, pre-algebra and algebra, I had parents contact me and say, could you please teach my child to long divide? The reason they did that was because they knew they needed it in algebra. So if I take my 56 and divide it into 1,792, I have to ask how many times will 56 go into the one? Well, it won't. So then I look at two digits, 17, it won't. But 179, it will. How many times? It's going to go three times. If I put a four up there and multiply, it's going to be too big. But it's going to be three. Three times six is 18. Carry the one. Three times five is 15. Plus one is 16. And now I subtract. This is the way you do this with numbers. So when we do example two over here, you're going to do it with polynomials that have variables in it. So now we subtract this. 8 from 9 is 1. 6 from 7 is 1. 1 from 1 is 0. I don't put the 0 down here. And then I carry down this 2. The next thing I do, I say, how many times will 56 go into 112? Well, it'll go 2 times. 2 times 6 is 12. Carry the 1. 2 times 5 is 10. Plus 1 is 11. And when I subtract it, I get a zero. Anytime you get a zero down here, it means it terminated. It means there is no remainder. Which means I could have taken this 1,792 and written it as these two factors. Because if you multiply these two numbers together, try it on a calculator, you're going to get 1,792. So this actually equals 56 times, that's a raised circle I use for times, 32 all over 56. And remember, if you have the same number in the numerator and denominator, you can divide by that common factor. And some teachers would say that's called canceling and you get your 32, which is what we got right here. All right, that's example problem one using numbers. Now let's go to example problem two using polynomials. So if I have the polynomial 15 y squared plus y minus 6, and I want to divide that by another polynomial 3y plus 2, I can write it like a fraction if I want. So I can write 15 y squared plus y minus 6 over 3y plus 2. But I can also long divide it like this. So let's look and see how that works. So I take the 3y plus 2. Let's go underneath it because I'm going to want to write something over there here in a minute. We'll go underneath that. So we'll just do 3y plus 2 divided into this trinomial. 15y squared plus y minus 6. All right, so now this is a little bit different, and yet it still follows along this same way. I look at this first term, 3y, and I say, can I divide this into 15y squared? Now, this has to be in descending order, and it is. 3y divides into 15y squared 5y times. Now, if you say, I have no idea how you got that, Mr. Chu. Watch this. I take my 15y squared and I divide that by 3y. Well, this cancels and this cancels and I get my 5y. 
and 5y times 3y is 15y squared. Now I have to go to the next term. 5y times 2 is 10y. All right, now let's look back over here. What did we do after we wrote this down? We subtracted it. So I'm going to subtract this whole thing. Well, if I subtract a 15y squared, that becomes a negative 15y squared. If I subtract a 10y, it becomes a negative 10y, and now I'm going to add them. Well, these go away, which is what I want. And then y plus negative 10y is a negative 9y. And look what we did over here. We brought down the 2. See how we brought down that 2? Now we're going to bring down the minus 6. After I bring down that minus 6, now I'm going to say, okay, now why don't I multiply 3y by to get negative 9y? If you don't know that, then take negative 9y and divide that by 3y. Well, the 3's cancel, and I get a 3 on the top, and the y's cancel. So it's just minus 3. 3 times 3y, but it's negative 3 times 3y, which is negative 9y. I need to get the same exact thing here. And negative 3 times plus 2 is minus 6. And remember what we did here next? We subtract. So I'm going to take and subtract that whole line. And when you do that, you're subtracting the negative, subtracting the negative, so that becomes positives. And when I add down, I get 0. I get 0, which means there's no remainder, which means that's the answer. Now, just one other thing that we can talk about this. I could take and factor this. And if I factor this, I'm going to get 3y plus 2. And I do have videos on factoring. You can subscribe my YouTube channel and then check that out. And it's going to be 3y plus 2 times 5y minus 3. And then we have that over... 3y plus 2, and look what happens. This cancels, and I get 5y minus 3. All right, that is your first example of division.